Cause I'm gonna make this place your Welcome back to What She Said. Now, women are taking the entrepreneurial world by storm. And joining us tonight, broker Heather Rovett and lawyer Vivian Lee. And together, they're a team at Real Law State, a Toronto-based realty brokerage that offers real estate and legal services under just one roof. Welcome, ladies, to What She Said. Thank you. Thank this you. is such an amazing idea. Uh, tell us how this is really redefining the real estate experience for people? Well, because we're all under one roof, the lawyers and the real estate brokers and salespeople, we have one commission that will cover the full spectrum of services. Our whole goal is to make the real estate experience less stressful, white glove service, all encompassing, because a lot of people, as you know, probably you're both homeowners, haven't always had the best experience. And it can be very emotional. It can be very stressful. And there's a lot of things they don't necessarily want to ask. Well, the other thing, too, is then you're you're sometimes, especially in our hyped-up market, in a hot market, um, you're making an offer, and then you've got to send it to a lawyer, and then you've got to wait for that. And it's the back and forth between parties that, that is stressful, I think, for clients. Absolutely. Um, in that kind of situation where you might be going in and buying I don't know, a $1.5 million house and you don't know who you're competing against. And when you're waiving all your conditions, like financing, a home inspection, we've already got our lawyers on board from day one who are talking the client through what the worst case scenario may be to prepare them. So if it works out and they get the home with waiving all the conditions, they've done it peacefully, soundly, un- like all in unison. Yeah. I've got to say say that I thought um, real estate agents were going to go the way of the dodo when we saw the rise of the Internet. You know, I really thought it's like, well, why do we need agents anymore? But it is to take you through those things. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's so much to my job that the client doesn't see or the lawyers doesn't see that, again, it just it's to make the whole experience pleasant. Because when Mm -hmm. you're buying a home or a condo or selling a home or a condo, it's a big deal. You know, even if it's an investment property, it's 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 no small purchase, and it's there's emotions that come up. There's we try to prepare everybody for it, the best outcome, but sometimes not. I, I hate to use the saying worst case scenario, but they're prepared for anything that might hit them because we're so fortunate to have the Vivians on our team from day one. Well, I love the idea mm-hmm. because I think uh, when you're buying or selling real estate, it's an adversarial scenario. But at least to know that your lawyer and your agent are on the same team. Absolutely. So at least, you know, because there have been situations where a lawyer will say no to something the agent's suggesting. And then you've got that thing going on. And you're already dealing with um, somebody who's selling, let's say, or or somebody who's buying. Absolutely. I, I was telling Vivian, um, I was working with one of the other lawyers at the office. I had a listing that was closing last week. And the day before the close, the buyer went for another home visit then the buyer's agent called me with, you know, some issues that they had come up. So instead of calling my client and saying, you know, this might come up, right away I called the lawyer. And it's at no extra cost to the client. I have a relationship with them. I mean, it's, we have our lawyers on speed dial. Who doesn't want a lawyer? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Vivian, tell us about, you know, from your perspective, what are the synergies like? Well, especially for a lot of young couples today who are not necessarily married and choosing to buy property together, A lot of people don't think about having things such as a cohabitation agreement before they buy property, but that's very important. And the value add of real estate is that we could prepare such an agreement for couples on the spot included in the commission. And then normally that would be an expense that couples don't think about even incurring. But everybody has to hope for the best, but plan for the worst. And upon the breakdown of relationships, property division is the number one issue. I've also heard stories about uh, millennial parents who want to contribute to a down payment, um, but they want to be, on, they'll be on the deed, but with rights of survivorship or something. And that's something, again, that you could handle. That's Absolutely. a very complicating factor. Who's on title? Is it joint title? Is it tenants in common? Who gets it when you guys break up? Who or has the who right die- to stay or there? Or if somebody dies. Of course, then you have to consider wills. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. I mean, I, we've had a couple of things come up, too, where we had um, a widow called the brokerage. 
her husband had passed away and he was still on the title. How did she get him off the title? Well, I don't know. That's for the lawyers. What are some of the most common mistakes that you see home buyers making? Rushing, buying on impulse and emotion. And that happened a lot this past winter when it was this frenzy because people were saying there's not enough inventory and prices were going and people were fe- feeling very compelled pressured. or ru- pressured, perfect word, pressured to buy a house. Um, other mistakes, you know, their budget is such and, and they they compromise on certain other things because they don't think that they're not necessarily thinking long term. They're thinking, oh, I can only spend this amount. And so, OK, it only has one bathroom. But if two bathrooms are really important to you. That has to stay first and foremost. So real, real Law Estate real was estate. founded by Graham Alloway, right? He was yes. a lawyer. Um, in fact, he went back to school and got his realtors and brokers yep. license. But his, you're leading up the team of mostly female realtors yes. at, at the firm. So do you think women have a unique perspective when it comes to working in real estate? I do. Um, I mean, I can only speak as a woman. I, I think a lot of women have gotten into it because... It gives you flexibility. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily have typical nine to five hours. So if you have young kids, you can still be a mom and you can you can certainly work. Um, Or for people who just are complete workaholics like myself, you work all the time, evenings, weekends. Um, And I think women were I I find all the women I'm working with. We're all each one of us is really different, but we're all we have a sensitive edge to us. Mm -hmm. We're, We're compassionate. It's like simpatico. We just we we listen we absorb, and we work hard for our clients. But in addition, I think women are the ones who who usually have the final say on the house that's bought, usually. Usually, usually. And, <laughs> and a woman real estate agent knows what women are looking for. I mean, they know that, as you said, the husband says, oh, well, we don't need that second bathroom. She's knowing, oh, yeah, yes, we got we four do. kids. We do. Yes. Uh, because I'm here all day when their friends come over. <laughs> so the... You know, I think that helps, don't absolutely, you? Absolutely, absolutely. Closet space always, is always another one. Oh, yes. We love that closet <laughs> space. <laughs> um, Vivian, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, lately there have been some stories about uh, concerns about real estate agents, brokers who are like double-ending the deal, both working on there. How how does the legal aspect of having you in, in, in-house in um, help protect people against that kind of thing? We could definitely make people aware of the fact of instances when they might need their own lawyer. So, for example, for spouses buying together, whether married or not, it's a good idea for them to have independent legal advice before signing contracts in order to make it valid and in order for the court to uphold and respect that contract when they are looking to enforce it. So a lot of people don't know the instances of when they can be represented by the same lawyer or not and when they're at conflicts of interest. And in multiple representation, because I recently went through this with the brokerage, um, where I had the listing and the buyer came, um, I was told small town law or small town rules apply. So we could only, the law firm, our law firm could only work with one of the two parties. So we had to So you're already ahead of the curve. Exactly. Very quickly, what is the climate um, in terms of real estate? What do you see going forward? It's hard to say. Let me get my magic ball. No, just no, no. Um, it's you know, it's been a weird year. I, I've been doing this now for eight years, and I love talking to veterans who have been doing it for twenty. Uh, you know, there's more inventory now. Sales have slowed down. Prices aren't really coming down, and I think people are waiting to see a shift in the market. Mm-hmm. Don't wait. Like if you want to buy, buy. It's it's not just an investment. It's your home. You're right because I've heard people say that. I'm mm-hmm. going to wait. Maybe they'll come down. I don't think they'll come down. They're just not going to shoot up. I don't think quickly. they're going to come down in Toronto. Mm-hmm. I just, I just don't see it. I mean, they're not making. I have people knocking on my door with signed offers. Wow! Wow! Yeah. I'm like, uh, really? It's like yeah. I, I said, so thank you. You're the third this month. But where would we move to? <laughs> That's a big question. <laughs> I, I actually had a call from an agent this week who said to me, you know, whatever. And then she said, Well, don't you think that um, it would be? It's you've you've enjoyed Yorkville for 13 years. That it's your time to let somebody else enjoy it. <laughs> That's and I hilarious. thought that is that is it. Now that's not a good sales pitch. Like I owe it to somebody to sell my condo, right? Anyway, <laughs> tell I people how they get in touch with you. www.reallawstate.com. It's spelled R E A L A W S T A T E. Is the best way. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. All right. Well, Heather and Vivian, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Thank you. This is what she said. Stay with us.